So guys, before I spin around and you see I without a beard, let's just prepare yourself. You know, breathe in. Prepare yourself for it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. I got no beard. I feel very weird, to be honest with you. I feel weird having no beard. But we'll go. We'll see, man. You know, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grow back out. I'm gonna go back out. You know, I had some, so, some, some skin damage under here, but that's besides the point. Let's get on to the video. Today we're gonna be talking about the CMA. You know, we haven't talked about a video related to the ABK acquisition in a minute now, but we're gonna talk about this. It looks like Microsoft has done some kind of middle ground to ensure that they don't have to lose out on all the billions of dollars that they would have to give ABK if this deal didn't go through. So let's let's talk about what's going on here. You know, first off, shout out to Windows Central. You know, we're, we're, we're going to, to flip over on theirs. We're going to read something. Cole Martin, go over there. Give him a shout out. Go over there. You know, I will put the article in the description so you guys can check that out. It says, to appease the CMA, Microsoft restructures the... The Activision Blizzard King deal. So here's all the stuff you need to know. Now, you know, like we said, we pretty much are up to date on this stuff. I'm not going to read the whole article because I don't think the article is um, necessary to read. But we're going to go over exactly what they are going to do. So let's go ahead and read this part right here. Microsoft's efforts to appease the concerns of the UK competition and markets agency CMA as they seek approval for the record setting 69 billion dollars uh, in a merger with Activision Blizzard King continues in the rejection of the acquisition the CMA expresses concerns about the cloud gaming market and the latest unexpected twist related to Microsoft's effort to push the deal across the finish line vice chair and president Brad Smith has penned a blog detailing an arrangement for Microsoft to sell the rights for cloud streaming ABK titles to Ubisoft Entertainment SA. All right, so let's 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 read this and then we'll we'll go back. To address the concerns that the impact of the proposed acquisition of cloud gaming cloud game streaming raised by the UK competitor com competition and market authority we are restructuring the transition to acquire a narrow set of rights that includes executing an agreement effective of at the closing of our merger and that transfers the cloud streaming rights for all current and new Activision Blizzard PC and console game released over the next 15 years to the Ubisoft Entertainment SA, a leading global game publisher. The rights will be a territory. Uh, you know, I butchered that. Definitely give me the pronunciations. I know you guys, I like to do that. All right, so let's talk about this. First thing I want to say is like, it's interesting that Microsoft will do this. Now, keep in mind, all that said was that they're going to relinquish the rights of the ABK deals, you know, Call of Duty, overwatch you know it is a huge significant thing especially if they bring something like wow to the platforms and you're able to stream that to your phone or your to your tablet you know I, I would say that is a substantial loss to microsoft that they can't control something that they own but it's only the abk games and i think they value getting that deal done more than they value the ability to control where the cloud computing goes and where it doesn't go you know, I've, I've said on this channel multiple times, and I'll say it multiple more times. This is where Sony should have had the most concerns with coming into this. Not Call of Duty, not whether or not PlayStation could survive a world without Call of Duty or Activision games in general, but cloud computing is so early in its infant stage that it's easier to have a argument that if they're able to buy Activision Blizzard and King, they wouldn't be able to really have anyone stand against them because they would own some of the biggest things in gaming, some of the biggest IPs, some of the biggest services in gaming, and they would also own one of the best ways that you can use it, which is cloud computing through their, through their Azure services. So, you know, I think 
this is a good middle ground. I myself am a little intrigued that they went this far to get it. So they must really feel like this is going to shut up the CMA, finally close this deal. Now, it's still whether or not the FTC, if they're going to push back again, you know, or they'll get shot down in court again. It's kind of interesting that so much stuff is going on with this ABK deal. And I, I think that, you know, this is a wrap. And not to mention, Phil actually sent everyone, I, I believe at ABK or maybe ABK and Microsoft, that's like going over, you know, he believes that this deal would definitely close before the deadline of October, like the 15th or 14th. It's in the October range. And that, you know, he believes this is the future of gaming and he believes that this is what the industry needs to move forward. You know, I think this is this is a slam dunk at this point. There's no way this don't get pushed back. This doesn't get pushed out now. And, and you know, what, what's interesting to me is if this gets approved and Ubisoft has exclusive rights and they have the uh, the licensing to do, it's kind of like the, the Spider-Man thing with, with PlayStation and Marvel. Even though Marvel owns Spider-Man, they don't own the movie licensing. Sony does. So you can't just go over there and do it. You, you have to negotiate and get that back. So I'm kind of curious that that's going to be an issue in the future whether or not them being able to get this is that going to be something that they're going to have to fight back for after the 15 years or if they keep doing a good job are they going to renew for another 15 years i don't know i think after 15 years place microsoft would retain the rights to it because at that point with that who knows maybe ubisoft becomes a big person in the streaming world i'm also kind of curious on nvidia we all know that NVIDIA and Microsoft have cloud computing stuff going on. So I'm kind of curious if that's something that they have talked to NVIDIA about. Because if Ubisoft has the rights for the ABK games and they made the deal with NVIDIA, if Ubisoft doesn't want NVIDIA do, uh, to have the rights, is that an issue? Or is that something that they're going to go into this deal knowing tell me in the comment section what you guys think about that do you think nvidia is being up to date on here or is it just like your old news nvidia you know we we we, we did that to get approval elsewhere but now we got to make a deal with ubisoft to get it approved here so i'm kind of curious how that's gonna work but anyway that's that's all for you guys i'm kind of curious your guys opinion in the comment section below and until next time this is gaming addict i'm out of here peace